I received a PDF file, a malicious PDF file, with a very low detection rate on the virus total. As you can see, it's actually zero. No antivirus uh, detects it. And, and the reason is simple, because this uh, malicious PDF document, this PDF file, doesn't actually contain any malicious code. It doesn't contain code at all. It is just uh, social engineering. It tries to uh, persuade you to click on the link and then uh, download what is uh, hosted on that web server. So let's uh, take a look. So if it arrived uh, via email as a payment slip, and when you open it, you get to see this. So you see here something that is uh, blurred out. So supposedly your payslip that is uh, blurred out. And here a dialog window that says plugin missing and click here to view the document. Now all of this here is actually an image. And uh, you can see if I move here I can see URL. Right? You, you can see that my cursor is uh, a hand with uh, a small icon that says uh, W. Now if I just click on the anyway, for example here, I will get a security warning from uh, Adobe Reader. You, you always get that unless uh, it is not a default install and uh, Adobe Reader has been configured to behave differently. So this is uh, the security warning you get. And if you allow it, then the file will be downloaded uh, with Internet Explorer, uh, your default browser. Uh, it's a zip file, so I have to open it. And when it is opened, you can see that it contains actually uh, an application, an exe file, and then you have to open that one. And, and, and that is when the infection uh, occurs. No, I'm not going to do that here. If you look at this uh, PDF file with PDF ID, Okay, there's uh, nothing special at all. All uh, the indicators here are zero. Um, so that's normal because it doesn't contain anything uh, that would indicate of malicious code, uh, like a script or a flash or things like that. You, you could think that it then, since it doesn't contain JavaScript or things like that, that it uh, actually contains an, an exploit that is uh, pure uh, binary that doesn't require JavaScript to do a heap spray or things like that. And uh, you, you could check that with PDF parser and the uh, Chara rules to detect malicious code in uh, malicious documents, uh, those rules that I defined and that you can find on my website. But as you can see, nothing triggers, eh? and that is because this PDF file actually just contains uh, an image uh, with an annotation that links to that uh, link, that uh, malicious website. If you want to find what is hidden here inside that PDF file, so the URL, you search for URI. And then here you get uh, the HTTP IP address, username, and document 219.sub.zip. Uh, uh, so this is um, a file so that is then downloaded. Uh, but uh, it is not done automatically. You need in human interaction and then the but people need to be convinced that they need to do this to read the payslip. 